Hey guys, my name is Oscar and today I'm gonna show you how to do this shot. This bean exploding shot is part of my last coffee video that I posted a few days ago and many of you really liked it and were asking me how I pulled it off. So I decided to make a quick tutorial that shows the different steps that went into making this shot and how you can apply it to your own product shots. First I'm doing a software tutorial, so if you like it, please uh, like this video, uh, comment below, give me your feedback uh, because I really appreciate it. The composition is actually simple, this is uh, just the background plate uh, of my kitchen. Uh, here we have um, the Element 3D plugin, which basically hosts the 3D model and animates it. Camera, three different lights around, and this cool circle animation. Um, so let's just jump in. Here I have a new composition. The most important part is getting the 3D model. Now, I'm not an <clears throat> animator by any chance. So I went to this website that I found in Google. It's called um, CG Trader, and you can find like thousands of 3D models of varying quality. I like this one, that it's about like 10, 15 bucks. Now let's open Cinema 4D. We are gonna import the OBJ uh, file, and it's important to select here to split by polygon groups. We have five different beams, so it's important to split them so you can get rid of the um, other four that we don't want. And we're gonna save this project. Now uh, our coffee bean is blue, so it's important to uh, add the, the material files that came with the project. Uh, so in this case, we have the diffuse ones. Um, let's add the specular pass, and it came also with a normal. Um, that's it, we have our bean. Uh, however, we need to fracture it first. Cinema 4D actually comes with a really cool um, plugin, Voronoi Fracture. So we're gonna add that. Um, also, it's my first time using uh, Cinema 4D. Bear with me if I'm not very familiar with the uh, user interface. We're all learning here. So we get this funky looking bean uh, that shows you all of the different fracture points for it. Though this looks cool, it's too big for an actual bean because if we have grounds of this size, our coffee is gonna taste very watery. So we don't like that and we don't want definitely to represent that in a client project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Voronoi Fracture, Sources, Point Generator, and we're gonna crank it up to say 800 points. And that is already looking much better. Um, I prefer the normal distribution here, and we're just gonna give it like a little bit. Uh, next thing we need to do is select the inside faces and the outside faces because we're gonna apply different material properties to them. Uh, so let's call this, for example, outside faces and control C, control V, we're gonna call this one inside faces. Inside faces, they should be a bit darker, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color, we're gonna make it like a dark, dark brown. So this will be the inside part of the bean once it fractures. And we're gonna adjust the tag such that inside with inside and outside with outside. Cool, once we have that, we just, um, remove the funky looking colors, and we have our item ready to be exported. Press C to uh, make it editable, and then we bring it into After Effects, so. So we have our comp one, and we're gonna create quickly a new solid. We're gonna create a new camera, so we can see the beam. We're gonna go to Effect, um, Element, Scene Setup, and we're gonna import our 3D beam, and it's really far away for some reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of here, we're gonna duplicate the beam, uh, we're gonna duplicate the model so we can uh, animate it. One is gonna be like the ex exploded version and the other one is gonna be the nice version. Let's go to four views. Let's get closer to it. Rotate the beam for its final uh, position, right? Okay, cool. Let's say that we want the beam like this and we're gonna copy this uh, rotation uh, let's animate it actually. All right, so the wind rotates, hits this point, and at this point, group two is gonna look the same. Point two, gotta make sure that um, they all line up. Perfect, so we have the same beam, right? And we're gonna add the animation engine, and what this is gonna let us do is it's gonna start in group one, and it's gonna end in group two. The difference between group one and group two is gonna be um, the separation of the particles. So we're gonna enable multi-object on both groups 
um, except that on group 2 this will explode so for this we're just gonna uh, crank up the displays um, a little bit the randomness as well and we're gonna have it scattered right and in order to see like it changes you have to animate it from 0% which is uh, group 1 to a hundred percent which is like crazy um, here from the top view you can see like the cloud of particles and then the camera is here so that that looks that looks good we just have to animate it right so say the beam rotates gets to its final position and starts exploding now as you can see this is more like a like a directional explosion so it starts on one part of the beam and then grows to the other one so we don't want that we want it to be radial so like it starts from the center and then destroys the whole beam because that's what we're doing when we we grind the beam right um we destroy it from its core so it gives us all that nice coffee and that's basically the animation that we want um we just need to uh, create some lights so we're gonna go to layer new light and we're gonna create like a parallel um, light so it looks nice on it and then let's add like a spotlight that it would be like a backlight to us and this will be like a spot and yep con angle is too much Ooh, let's make it really really focused on it and we're gonna bring it um, as a backlight here yeah that looks good um, and yeah so the beam rotates and then it starts exploding. Yeah, this is meant to be a quick tutorial, so I don't want to play that much with uh, lighting. So uh, we'll just make it look somewhat lit up. The the background is in focus and the beam is in focus, so um, that doesn't make sense for a beam this size. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna scale up the background, and we're just gonna blur the hell out of it, so it actually represents like a shallow depth field, because that's what that's what we need right now and we have our bean uh, the bean explodes for the last final touches what we're gonna do is we're, with the camera we're gonna track the focus point keyframe the position rotation of the camera and then it starts moving a little bit and say we want to focus on this big chunk here and then for this we're gonna go into the focus distance uh, the zoom and the aperture right here we want this to be in focus so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the depth of field and that will allow us to see where the hell our focus distance is so we might need to bring it bigger uh, closer you can see this is the focus distance and the cloud of points is here so we definitely need to bring it way 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 closer so we can see what's happening okay cool also the zoom if you want to zoom into it Oh, make sure that the beam is in focus to start with. We don't want our beam to um, not be in focus. That would be sad. Uh, once the plane intersects um, the beam, so about here, and then our beam should be in focus perfectly. Um, yeah, and then one last thing to add is just the motion blur. So activate the motion blur for the comp and for uh, the layers here. So for like the beam fracture and you'll see uh, that it adds some nice motion blur to it. And then for the stats, I have this uh, free plugin. It's called uh, Motion Bro, and it actually gives you like a ton of really cool like motion graphics. Um, the free version comes with like a bunch of things that are really cool, really helpful, like transitions, um, different graphics, blurs. I'm just going to copy the one that I used from the previous comp because I already modified it and I said, um, so I limit. I think it was this one, um, so I just kept the circle and a little bit of the statistics. Let's go to transform, uh, flip horizontal, and then we have that here. Right. Uh, and that should be it. It's as simple as it goes. Now make sure that you actually take the time to properly light it, because uh, right now it looks like a little bit overly saturated. Right. So we have the beam and we have the fracture. Also, uh, let's make sure to ease in all of these uh, animations. Let's wait for this. Um, my computer is burning through battery right now. 
So yeah, this was my first time exploring uh, 3D compositing into making product videos. So if you like it, uh, definitely let me know and I can test out other projects and make some tutorials like this. Yeah, please let me know how it goes and I would really appreciate your feedback.